I've decided I have to vlog this. And despite the fact that I had no intention of vlogging this. But I was just watching. Do you guys watch Morgan Yates? Probably, because she's way more popular than me. Um, actually, probably not, because currently I only have one subscriber, and it's my ex boyfriend, Tyler. Um, <laughs> but that's fine. Y'all will catch on eventually. He'll look back at this and you'll be like, damn, why didn't I subscribe to that girl back then? She was really cool. Um, so, I decided I have to vlog this because it is technically my last day of classes. Sort of. In a weird way. As many of you know, I've been, like, officially done for, um, a while. Like, close to a month. And actually, right about a month maybe a month today. No, it's not a month today, but it, I'm, regardless, I, I'm pretty much, I've been done for about a month. But, Yubi pays for, that's actually a bold-faced lie, Yubi pays for nothing. Yubi forces us to pay for a, um, NCLEX, which is my board's review course, and then they host it during finals week. So technically this is finals week for the university, but it is my last week of like classes kind of, I don't know. It's nine to four. I also have work today from 4.30 to 11, which I may get into or I may not. I, I shouldn't have work today from 4.30 to 11, but you gotta love shitty bosses. I'm sorry that was not appropriate, but it's true. Um, I'm, I'm not thrilled with my boss right now. I'm, I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm not thrilled with my boss right now. Um, so I've got that review course, uh, you probably, I just, like, I'm, I'm not doing anything special today, I don't know, but I just felt like I had to film it, because it's, like, the last college class I'm ever going to sit in, it's the last time I'm ever going to be in Diefendorf, it's the last time, like, and, uh, and I am so adamant that I cannot go back to UB for grad school, that it truly is the last time I will be at Diefendorf, it is the last undergrad class, it's so, college is done for me after today. And I graduate, and I was already planning on filming a graduation vlog, which this is obviously part of. You can see that in the title. So I'm just starting it one day early, and this is probably going to be one of the only clips from today. So happy last day of classes to me. <laughs> this has been a wild ride, <laughs> crazy situation. God bless me because this has been horrible, <laughs> and um, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to get to class. One of the guys in my class brought cookies. He's like in his 60s and he went back to school for nursing. He's a cool guy. And now we have cookies. I'm excited. Look at this shit. Look at it. Look so at I it. So I am headed out. It's so bright outside. It's so warm outside. I'm just grabbing a little snack because I have a small break and I need a little bit of something sweet. I feel like I look like a slob. Um, anyway, I got cut off earlier because Levi called me over. He's like this guy that kind of has a thing for me and kind of friends. I don't know. I got a muffin. And uh, <laughs> half passion tea lemonade, half green tea lemonade from a girl who's really bitchy. And I gotta go back like now, but I wanted to catch my bearings. And it's so nice how I didn't want to go back inside, so I'm gonna go back now. Hi! Um, I'm done. Like, legit done forever with nursing school. Well, at least my undergrad. I have to keep saying that. At least for my mother, I have to keep saying that. I got um, donuts to celebrate. I went to that place that I talk about sometimes, Famous Donuts, that's like my favorite donut place. And I got two donuts because the woman was like, I got, I was, I picked out one. And she was like, you're just going to get one donut? It's like, no. So I got a pink one because it's pink and I love pink and also their pink frosting is delicious. It has pieces of maraschino cherry in it and it's to die for. And then I got a jelly filled which is my favorite that they have. So, And then I also got a diet coke because I have to go to work as I've mentioned and I'm going to need energy for that. So here's to human fuel. Uh, I think I'm out of things to talk about and I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye! You guys, I've been complaining about the heat all day and I never looked at the thermometer. It is 92 degrees outside. Yes, you heard that right. 92. Hi friends. Work is done. I'll talk about it when I get home. Right now I'm going to decompress a little. 
listen to some country music because it was a night, man. and way too hot and sweaty and take a look at this I'm sunburned can you see that I was outside for maybe 20 minutes eating lunch with my friends and I got a sunburn mm. pale princess problems um and I literally just saw my um lace pajamas on my bed and the thought of putting fleece on my body when I'm this sticky and disgusting like horrified me mm. I don't even have to I have plenty of pajamas that aren't fleece but just seeing them like was horrifying to me I couldn't even like mm. I'm hungry I always am hungry when I get home from this shift it doesn't matter how much I've eaten all day or when the last time I ate was I'm always hungry when I get home from this shift I don't know what to do because I have no food because I'm going out in a few days I think you should wrap up this vlog. Does this look like the face of someone who fell asleep with all her makeup on immediately after turning off the camera last night? That's what it is. Begun to pack. This is a garbage bag full of my underwear and pajamas. Just so you guys know, I moved four times last summer, so I've become an expert at packing. And, um, garbage bags are best for clothes because you can just rip them off, throw your clothes in a, um, hanger, closet, dresser, whatever, and then you throw them away and you don't have to figure out where to put the garbage bags. So I like them best. Plus I took my roommate to drop off her stuff at the train station. It's so sunny. Ah! And now I'm trying to draw, I'm trying to take back cans and bottles, which is spraying all over the ground. It's really windy and my dress keeps blowing up, which is humiliating and people are noticing and it's embarrassing me. And I have so much to get done today. Oh. So I'm at Target <clears throat> and I have some stuff to decorate my cap. This is not, I just love this wrapping paper. I don't know when I'm going to use it. These letters and then this is also not for it, but I got these. Which I thought it's like a banner. I thought it would be cute in my grown up apartment when I get one. And then this little sparkling glitter for the cap. I got one of the new Midnight Mint Mocha Frappuccino things from Starbucks and it is delicious i'm in love but um it's probably like 10 million calories but that's fine because i haven't had anything to eat all day so i'm shoe shopping at nordstrom rack which i hate shoe shopping i think we're gonna get these because they're like this kind of pretty blush color my dress is white i felt like these would just be too boring these are kind of my favorite of the two but i like them both this one has a lower heel than i like i hate shoe shopping especially for high heels both of them are walkable is good there's another pair i liked best that were not walkable so these are gonna be the ones i don't know i really like these just don't they wouldn't look right with the dress i don't think i don't know all right so i bought shoes you saw them i don't love them i'll probably wear them again maybe i don't know i don't wear heels very much because i'm five foot seven so i'm a little too tall for heels in my own opinion yeah. um and but I have high standards for shoes. I also have bunions, which means buying sandals is difficult because sometimes the bunions are very prominent in sandals, which looks gross. By the way, if you don't know what bunions are, it is a very not gross problem with a very gross name. Basically, it's when your feet, the bones of your big toe shift, and so they're not like straight in line, they're like kind of pointed. So if you were wondering what bunions are and thinking they were disgusting, they're not. They're just really painful and a little bit hideous. Um, and so, the, and I don't like low heels because I think they make my feet look really long because I wear like size eight and a half, which isn't that big, but it's not that small either. So basically, I just don't like shopping for shoes and I really don't like shopping for high heels. Sorry, I don't know how much of that you got. I know that I went over a pothole and it cut me off but what else is new buffalo welcome potholes uh so 
I didn't love them, I didn't hate them. There was another pair, like I said, that were cuter, but that I couldn't walk in, and I thought that it would be better not to fall down walking across the stage. So, I've got them. I may wear them again. I probably won't because I really don't like heels, but I don't know, it is what it is. I think I got cut off before, but um, I was going to Joanne Fabrics to get the stuff to decorate my graduation cap, and let me tell you, that was a pricey endeavor. I did get like this sign, for when I get a grown up apartment, which I did not need by any means. I don't know why I got it, but it was really cute. I'll show it to you when I get home. But holy camoly, I didn't even feel like I got that much. Like I got a few packs of flowers, a pack of like project paper, which was basically like wrapping paper that was expensive, a thing of ribbon and some stickers. And I think I spent $60. Like that is, oh, and I got a glue gun. So that was a little, but the glue gun was cheap. I think the glue gun was like four bucks, maybe less. Oh, that was a very pricey ex experience. Holy camoly, better be worth it. That cap better look like best cap in the world. <clears throat> This part says, thanks MDK, which is mom, dad, K for carrying my stepdad. And this says, it's hard to see, RNBSN, because that's the degree I'm getting. I don't know, guys. I think it's Guys, it's my mom. We're at Santora's. We have appetizers. I'm excited. I'm excited. She's helping me pack. She was supposed to help me do my cap, but I did it before she got here. a better chance of Old Navy or Target, do you think? Target. Mom is taking me to my hair appointment, which has become its own whole fiasco, but we're not even gonna get into it. We were packing, and we did pretty well. Like, you can see in the back, I've got like bags of clothes and shit, so we're doing good. And haircut is accomplished. You can't really tell. She didn't really do much with it. She was really tired, and it was the end of her shift, and I also missed an appointment this week with her, which I felt horrible about. I didn't even know I had missed it because I didn't even know I had an appointment, if we're gonna be honest. I thought that it was today, but apparently it wasn't. It was like uh, Monday, Monday. And so I missed it. So, but it's still like cut, which is good. We can go pack some more. Excited, Mom? I'm excited. So at 10 o'clock at night, I realized that I did not want to drive. I did not, not want to stay alone in my apartment tonight. So I'm driving back to stay with my family, which definitely makes my day more eventful tomorrow because I have to drive back to Buffalo, but I was already, I was, I just, I can't, I, I don't know too many people who want to stay in an empty apartment with all of their friends elsewhere the night of their graduation. It's just not an ideal situation and I didn't want to, so I'm going home. And so that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> crazy, I know, but um, I got a lot of packing done with my mom. I didn't vlog any of that, obviously, because it's just boring, and um, now I'm driving back. I'm home. I have taken a shower. I have a face mask on. It looks like orange marmalade and smells like orange marmalade, um, and I'm just trying to get ready for bed because it's like after midnight on the day I graduate from college. This is wild, you guys. I forgot to bring home pajamas, so I just put my dress back on because this is kind of like a nightgown, right? I also forgot my cell phone charger, so this might be a real bed in the morning.